Now that's what I like to see on my carabiner. Well, it's been over a month now since I've been out doing any water detecting. I've been in Latvia. I've been uh, hosting one of the Latvian girls that came over with me. And this is the first time that I've been out in the lakes. And so since I was up in the DFW area, I met up with my good friend Garen here with a YouTube channel with Detecting for Life. And so y'all make sure to check him out. I'll put in the description below. Check out his videos. He's got some pretty cool videos there. Um, and uh, But we're going to be out here at this lake today. And a beautiful lake. Real calm and uh gonna see what we can come up with um as we're getting ready to go in i'm gonna roll a little thing about i went down with a, a zero discrimination and, and gypsy jewels and uh, so i'm gonna show you something that was a real special moment there so i'm gonna cut over to that y'all watch that and then we'll cut back into the lake and find anything we'll definitely show it to you so let's go get some rings in the lakes let's go hey i'm down here at uh, zero discrimination miss gypsy jewels and uh, we're going out for a big river challenge tomorrow and uh, I took her down in East Texas at the lakes, and I beat her five to one. And so she wants me to come down, and uh, we're going to go down to a big river challenge on her turf out in the river, which she's going to have an advantage at than I am because I don't do much river hunting. So hopefully she's going to pull out a good win, and if not, you know, we're going to have a good time. It's all for fun anyway is what it's all about. I got one surprise I want to share with her she doesn't know anything about. And here is the surprise. Uh, the gypsy came up on my river on, when we did the lake hunting, and I told her I had a kayak, and she needs a kayak. She does a lot of river hunting up here. I have mine, and here is uh, gypsies that she, she's going to buy off of me. But here's the surprise, gypsy. As I was up at Keith Will's house the other day, getting my detectors ready to come down here, Keith asked me how much was I selling the kayak for and I told him the price and uh, Keith donated two-thirds of that money already oh my goodness so two-thirds of the kayak money is already donated oh, no. and then I'm gonna donate the other part one-third plus the racks that she can have as well so you have just been blessed with oh, you don't have to no. make a single payment on the kayak oh, it is yours no. Thanks to Keith Wills. And y'all check out Keith Wills at East Texas Metal Detectors in Gilmer, Texas. If you need something, give him a call. He'll work it out. But he wanted to bless you, and I wanted Aww. to bless you with that. And so that's one way we can give back. Aww, so thank you so this much. This is your kayak. Make me cry. This is your kayak now. You don't have to pay a single Aww. penny for it. So uh, it's just. Make me cry. Uh, that's all right. That's, uh, that's uh, what life's all about, you know. And so. uh, Keith, you'll be hearing from me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, yeah. I've known uh, Keith a while, uh, as you know, yeah. already. Uh, I've known Keith as long as I've been metal detecting. I met him shortly after I uh, started metal detecting. And uh, he has a shop over in East Texas, and I bought my very first Garrett machine from him. And I've uh, been metal detecting since, so that's been over 20 years ago. So thank you, yeah. Keith, and, and thank you, Michael. And Keith has a good heart, so that's one way. Guys. now. The only thing is, you just can't beat me in the river tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> just for no, I'm joking. I'll We're gonna have a you good time. I'll choke the rings your way. You choke them my way. We'll have a good time. <laughs> okay. But anyway, guys, that's what it's all about: helping one another out. So we'll see you on the river tomorrow, and we'll see who's gonna win the river showdown here between zero discrimination and preacher digger part two. So let's go have some fun. All right. This doesn't look like two treasure hunters. This looks like two survival. Hunter, <laughs> we're just surviving the, the river today. We got busted up knees. Bitch has got a busted up knee. Oh. Flipping the kayaks. Oh, it's been an adventure. We haven't even been treasure hunting. We've just been trying to get down the river and uh, do this another day. So it's whoever survives is the winner. Whoever gets <laughs> back is the winner. So right here in the water, let's go see what we can get. Looks like I've got some type of little pendant 
I can't tell if there's something on it or not. It's copper. But uh, hey, it's first find. I'll take it. See if we can't find a good ring. Well, I got a solid 51. I thought it was going to be a nickel and dug it up and it's going to be a, a white gold and yellow gold ring. This is this is nice. I uh, can't see any markings out here in the sun, but I know it's gold ringing up as a 51. The way it's shining. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? All right, I was just about ready to quit, but now I've got me a second win. My first good target. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I've moved on from the other lake where me and Garen, uh, the guy that has the YouTube channel Detecting for Life, go check out his channel. Uh, I put a link on my Facebook page, Preacher Digger. Uh, and you can see the video that we did and, and see the things that we found. We just didn't find a whole lot, but he went ahead and did a video and did a wrap up. But I was going to hold out and come out here today on my day off, and I've got another lake I'm going to hit. But I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I'm going to hunt with my detector, of course. But I have this thing. And uh, I've been wanting to do some hunting with it. And I'm at a lake that's real clear. And that's not very common here in East Texas. But I'm going to hunt with this uh, Nocta Macro uh, Pulse Dive. Comes in a little case like this right here. And I uh, had a friend of mine gave me this. I haven't even bought it yet. He told me just to go try it out. Anyway, it's with Vickers Metal Detectors. And it's, uh, his name is Scott Heigel. And uh, if you ever need anything, just look them up right there. I'll put their description down in, in, uh, the, in below the video here check them out and you can get one of these but it's a uh, it does uh, a good little job it's a pulse uh, induction and you can either use the, uh, the the tip as a pro pointer or you can use it as a detector I'm just going to today just kind of snorkel in about waist deep water where I find most of my rings and just <clears throat> scan with this thing and see if I can find some rings out here and so hopefully we can and hopefully I'll have a video for you and uh, so Let's uh, quit all this talking. Let's get suited up. Let's go on out here. Let's try this little pulse macro uh, detector and let's see what we come up with, okay? Let's go have some fun. Well, I just got my first target. It's going to be a little, looks like a brand new little silver baby ring. I mean, it's small. It's ringing up on my GoPro, I mean, on my uh, AT Pro, like a 74, 75. I thought it was going to be a penny. But, uh, hey, my first little find. I'll take it. We'll keep on going. second target I checked it with my AT Pro and it came up being an 85 so I thought maybe it was a quarter but I'm not very far away from that other ring this is a uh, this is the first I've ever dug of these this is a coin ring this is a gold dollar coin ring let's see if I can get a date on it uh, I don't see a date on it anyway that's a nice find I never had one of those looks like it fit my finger anyway all right We'll keep on going. It's working out so far. Out here in waist deep water, I got a 71 to 73. Kind of odd number. And look down there, and uh, real nice ring. I thought it was going to be a silver ring, but after looking at it closer, it's just going to be a, a uh, I think it says stainless steel. It's got a marking in it, but I don't have my glasses on. I can't read it. But I want to say it's stainless steel. But I don't know, it's ringing up not, not like a stainless steel, though. It's ringing up like a, uh, uh, like a 
some type i don't know 71 72 is not silver but then again it's not stainless either so i don't know that looks pretty good doesn't it kind of has like a black onyx and that's a nice ring right there i'll take that all right let's keep going that's three rings here i haven't been out here very long and i've got one more lake i'm gonna go hit today and uh so hey let's do it I got a good tone this time this was ringing up like an 84 85 sounded like a silver and it is check that out that's going to be uh you can't really see it but it's a masonic symbol that's the uh it's masonic symbol there and the markings says it's got two markings hold on let's see what we got yeah, let's see here Eyes are not the best. Got it flipped upside down. Hey, all right. This is going to be all right. This is going to be sterling silver with 10 karat gold mixed in. Hey, I'll take that. Sterling silver and 10 karat gold any day. Hey, check that out. Let me show you all the rings I got so far today. And uh, still got one more lake to go. So hang on. Let me get these rings out. Now, that's what I like to see on my carabiner. Well, I got this uh, copper ring. I normally don't dig these signals. This was a 30, a 32. I normally don't dig anything below a 38 to a 40. Anyway, it's a copper ring. It looks like maybe a toe ring because it's got an open back, and that's why it was real staticky. Was it making a com uh, complete loop? But it says the word love on it. And so, but I'll take it. Hey, it's just another ring that's number six uh, for this uh, trip, or five today and one the other day. All right, let's keep on going, see what else we can get. Well, I made it back home from the lakes today, and this boy is burnt. I put on 85 and 100 SPF sunscreen, and boy, look at that. Can you see how red that face is? It is stinging, and I am burnt. I had a great day at the lakes today. I went out and, uh, with Garen King. He's uh, uh, the YouTuber with the Detecting for Life. And I uh, found one ring with him, but that was a couple of days ago. So I went back out today and uh, wanted to see what I could do with this little yellow detector I got, the little bitty one detector. It had a great day. Just got on a hot spot, found a lot of good rings there, and went to one more lake. But after finding one ring there, I was just too burned. I decided to come on in and call it a day. And so let me spin you around. Let me show you what kind of day I had. Here's all my trash, all your stuff that you can dig out of a lake. You got to dig all that because these things right here can be a gold ring. And that one gold ring I'm going to show you in just a minute sounded just like a pull tab. Hey, looky here. Preacher Digger got him a strawberry daiquiri. Boy, I tell you what, I love finding this kind of stuff. I guess that's alcohol, isn't it? I, I guess so. I don't drink this stuff. But anyway, looks good enough to drink, but I'll let the trash can have it. Anyway, here we go. Here's some of the stuff that didn't make the cut. I got a little fish hook clip. Got a old, ugly, beat up... Uh, earring that's been there for a year uh, here's another one of those earrings found lots of earrings found this little ball here I really don't know what that is it's just the camera get focused on it uh, it's just some type of bead I don't know and another little earring got here I wish that was real gold but it's not I ended up with uh, one dollar, two dollars and twenty-five cents. I got eighty cents in dimes and fifteen cents in nickels, and believe it or not, just four pennies. That's good. That's unusual. Usually, dig more than that. Uh, back up there where I was hunting with detecting for life, I got this little religious pendant. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I, I bet it's going to be a piece of Catholic jewelry with uh, the Mary on it or something like that on the back of it. Uh, the last lake I went to, I got this little ring right here. It's a little copper ring. It says love. Ring up is like a 32. Uh, normally I wouldn't dig that because I think it's like aluminum foil or something. But it had a good tone to it. It wasn't real uh, grunty sounding, so I dug it anyway. Uh, this one here is marked 925. 
just a little bitty old ring not too much on it you can see how small it is very small but what really turned out to be good is I've got one two three four gold a little bit let me explain what I'm talking about here is a gold dollar ring and first one of those I've ever dug made out of a gold dollar I tell you my camera's having a hard time focusing on all this kind of stuff let me see if I can get it focused anyway there is a, a gold dollar ring and then remember in the video I was telling y'all this ring up weird like 70 71 I couldn't understand what it is and when I looked at the inside right over here I don't know if you can see it uh, it's not gonna focus anyway it's not gonna focus it says 18 karat gold plated so that is another gold ring that is a gold plated ring uh, I don't know what type of I guess it's white gold or rhodium or something like that but it may be on a, on a stainless steel ring but not too sure that's not focusing in too good on this stuff there we go let me see if I can get a little closer now Here's that dollar ring I was showing you. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. But anyway, that's a nice little ring. I did get this here. It's a Masonic ring. There's the symbol. You can kind of see it right there. This is silver and 10 karat gold. Both. Sorry for all the noise. I'm out here beside the highway. And then here's the ring that I got up in uh, with Garen with Detecting for Life. It's a little gold uh, 10 karat gold ring with um i don't know if that's white gold around it or if that would be silver i think it's silver silver and gold anyway i've got six different rings a little pendant a few little earrings and i uh, really did enjoy this little nocta macro um, detector you can sit there and you can turn it on this way and that's just going to be your sound or you could hit this button and that's going to be vibration hit it again to be vibration and and then it also has a light on the end of it right here. And it comes, um, let me show you, turn that off. Get that turned off. It also comes with a, uh, with a little thing here, pouch you can put it in. You can also put this up there and make it like a big pinpointer. The only thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have a place to put a lanyard. And, uh, because you can't put this tip on into this and pull it out. And so you need a lanyard to put it onto your uh, your pouch where you can float behind you or something like that. And it doesn't float. It sinks down to the bottom but stands straight up. Uh, I think you might could put a little piece of uh, styrofoam on there and make it float. But anyway, it's pretty nice. Uh, this was donated to me and uh, by Mr. Scott Heigl there with Vickers Metal Detectors. So there's the number. I'll put it down in the description below. If you want to get one of these, give them a call and they'll fix you up anyway it comes with a charger it comes with a nice little case and uh, so I'll use it again but here in East Texas we don't have a lot of lakes with a lot of clear water and so uh, I got to use it where I get some clear water there's all the trash here's the things that didn't make the cut and there's my money and here's all the treasures that's gold and silver gold and silver gold plated a gold dollar coin ring copper silver a religious pendant so until we meet again I just want to tell everybody happy hunting and God bless